Wow. Mr. Graham Massey of 808 State. Fancy How are you me at Sinfest? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what I'm doing. Yeah, but Graham is going to be faced with the three big questions. <laughs> right. So question number one is all about the past. What thing or incident or piece of equipment would you say is really integral into into starting you off? Or, or you yeah, know? I mean we were just chatting about um, matters of prog um, <laughs> because like you know being uh, I was born in 1960 so we we when we were growing up my first high school band in fact just did gong cover versions so fully approved <laughs> <laughs> so our first the first concert I ever played was doing gong cover versions at this Queen's <laughs> Silver Jubilee street parties <laughs> in Manchester we did three in a day I played electric violin. Wow. We didn't have a synth player back then, but that was my first introduction to synth was that Virgin Records period. First synth band I ever saw would be Tangerine Dream. Oh, amazing. You know, in at the deep end. Yeah. You know, I didn't even know what those boxes were. They had a lot of, you know, it's just an incredible sound and then this mysterious assemblage of equipment. That kind of set me off on a path. It's like, oh, you can have a band of just synthesizers. But of course, all the gong stuff was all EMS, wasn't it? Mm, Hawkwind was a big thing with me. Oh, yeah. Again, EMS and tone yeah. generators. Um, my, my dad was an engineer. He brought me sort of um, tone generators back from work. And that was my first sort of foray into electronics would be like things that he built me from practical electronics. So it was that, that time of like experimenting and just being the non-musician in the band. And this was way before the rave thing that I got into in the, um, you know, late 80s. Yeah, so. Wow, amazing. Yeah. So, okay, so the next question is going to relate to the present. Yeah. What are you currently up to and what's currently sort of the thing that's well, getting me excited? Yeah, yeah, well, you've just caught uh, me in the phase of 808 State. We've just got a new album coming out. It's called Transmission Suite. It's out on the 11th of October. And we've been locked away in the old Granada TV studios in Manchester um, for three years making this record. Oh, wow. yeah. And uh, it was like Granada moved out of this TV studio and it was just this amazing space with like 80 TVs on the wall and we just moved our vast synth collection into this room full of bespoke furniture and rack gear. There's all this equipment blinking away and we had no idea what it was or what it did, but we just moved ours on top of it. Which, and, and if you pulled up the floor, there'd be like wiring from the 50s, the wiring from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, all in a, like, you know, it's like time dig or something, <laughs> you know. It's like an amazing space. So we've done, yeah, this, wow. we've done this new record and uh, we're just about to sort of unleash it onto the, onto the world. So uh, it's self-release this time okay, as well. Yeah, and and the, that's yeah. imminent then, the release? Yeah, 11th of October. Yeah, wow, so, okay, brilliant. Yeah. So that's present. That's present. So future. So uh, future, we hope to be out and about sort of putting the music in front of people. You know, we've never stopped playing as a band. We've been going 30 years now. Wow. And there hasn't been a year where we've not been doing gigs. In fact, we played this building um, about a year ago, kind of thing, in the, in the Octagon here in Sheffield. Uh, we have a big connection with Sheffield. You know, we used to come and play, um, record a lot of our records in Fond Studios in Sheffield oh, yeah, with Fond. the Human League uh, down the corridor and everything. Right. And just seen Phil Oakey before. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're, we're out and about doing gigs, you know, hopefully doing all the festivals over the summer. We did the Blue Dot Festival this oh, year, yeah. which was incredible, great, playing yeah. after craft work. Oh, yeah, and, nice. and uh, you know, so, uh, you know, we're still very active, you know, get them synths out and dust okay. them off. So are you taking, what, what, what goes out on the road then? Oh, all kinds of crap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take some of the posh stuff out now, you know. So um, I'm, I'm quite happy with some of the new Roland stuff that we've been, you know, all the era stuff really works in, in those environments. Right, right. And a lot of the time we're just packing bags into, like, hand luggage on the easy jet so all that stuff really works for us you know so we have a table of nonsense you know with the with the laptop and everything and uh, you know we, we hire some equipment in some of the old bits of kit you know um, keyboard wise um, and we have a drummer live on stage as oh, well nice. you know so it, yeah. it's a mixture of stuff you know I, and of course I played the sax in that tune and I like guitar and stuff you know I, I, I like playing other instruments as, as well as synths you know so here's the big question now Behringer RD8 have you tried it 
Yes, uh, yes, <laughs> they they gave us one to road test actually. Right, yeah, right. yeah. I mean, I mean, that's, it it sounds perfectly great mm. to me, you know, yeah. and. Uh, it's a bit big, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You were talking about, you yeah. know, hand luggage. Yeah, slightly, yeah. slightly challenging on the thing. hand luggage, and yeah, uh, yeah I mean, it's uh, you know, rather than paying all that money for for an old one kind of thing, it's a it's a perfect solution yeah. for that, you know. Um, we we didn't never had an eight oh eight for years. We had an eight oh eight at the beginning. Um, in fact, it was Gerald's. Gerald's, Gerald's on later on, isn't he? On five, yeah. five, about five o'clock, and. Uh, then we had a 909. We just we were a 909 band for years, swore right. blind by it. Yeah, so, so you couldn't you, change you, the name though. Little, yeah, it was too late to change <laughs> the name. But, um, yeah. but in recent years, uh, someone lent us one a few years ago when it was the anniversary, and uh, we were doing a lot of radio programs about it. And uh, somebody lent me one, and I've still got that one. And it, and it is beautiful. It's a beautiful bit of kit. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's classic. Yeah. Well, Graham, thank you ever so much for taking the time out. And that's no, no, really, big pleasure. <laughs> in a bit.